Hey guys, this is Danny B. And coming up this weekend, we have the Music City Grand Prix. Now, unfortunately, I will not be in attendance for this one. It does seem weird. I made a video about this race last year when it was first announced. You would think this would be right up my alley, <laughs> pardon the pun there, to want to go check out IndyCars racing in the streets of Nashville. But here's the thing, I'm actually fishing this weekend. I'm actually one of 60 anglers in the state of Tennessee qualified for the Bassmaster Tennessee Bass Nation Kayak State Championship on Lake Chickamauga. That's a mouthful, I know, but this is a unique opportunity for me. I do not want to let this opportunity pass me by to go check out a race that may be back next year. I may not have this opportunity next year. I may not be qualified next year. If I place in the top six, then I can move on to the Bassmaster National Championship, which is held in conjunction with the Bassmasters Classic next year. So as a kayak angler, this is like the golden ticket I'm competing for this weekend. So I, I definitely want to make sure that I'm competing on Lake Chickamauga. I've had a day to practice already. I may not do that good, but we'll see how I do. But here's what I want to talk about today. Guys, I have something to ask you. Hey, who here loves trains? So yeah, aside from NASCAR and fishing, what is one of the other things that I really like? Well, I can proudly say this now, and I'm no longer ashamed of it. I will not be ashamed of the things in my life that I like. Guys, I'm a rail fan. I like trains. See this? This is an HO scale Norfolk Southern High Hood. Isn't that beautiful? Heck, I've even built a full working in scale model railroad down in my garage. I like trains, but I also like racing. So here is a unique subject that I can tell you guys if you are going to the Music City Grand Prix in if there is any tickets left, you should definitely look into this. Avoid traffic and parking in downtown Nashville. You may miss some of the earlier things, but you'll get there in time for the race. How about this for a unique opportunity to travel to downtown Nashville to watch the IndyCar race by riding the Music City Star? What is the Music City Star? It is Nashville and I think Tennessee's only active commuter rail system here in the state of Tennessee. And it was founded back in the early 2000s and it actually still runs on an active railway that is held in conjunction with the Nashville and Eastern Railway. Let's do some backstory on this. Let's talk about the Music City Star and how it first originated. So Music City Star is a commuter service that runs between Nashville, Tennessee and Lebanon, Tennessee. Y'all know Lebanon. That's the town where Nashville Super Speedway is at. The service uses the existing tracks of the Nashville and Eastern Railway, like I already said. That's an independent railway. That's what you would call, in terms of rail fanning, that's the local. Uh, it's different from CSX, Norfolk Southern, all these different bigger railways that use these tracks. Now, a lot of these same tracks are actually still in existence from the former Tennessee uh, Valley Rail System and, and Tennessee Central Rail System that ran here in Tennessee long, long ago. But the Music City Star stops at actually seven different stations. They have their originating station in Lebanon, then they stop in Hamilton Springs, the Marfa Station, Mount Juliet, Hermitage, one more stop in Donaldson, and they finally ended out at the Riverfront train station in downtown Nashville, right there at Broadway. Now, the Music City Star still has a lot to go, in my opinion. It's actually considered what they would call a starter project to demonstrate how effective commuter rail service can be to the Nashville metro area. Now there are still plans already for there to be expansion tracks and as much as six more lines that would kind of form, well, a star shape, hence why they want to call it the Music City Star. These proposed next few lines include terminating areas such as Gallatin, Columbia, Murfreesboro, Dixon, Springfield, and Clarksville via Ashland City. Now all of these would still have to have a lot more negotiating going on with the folks from CSX as they would have to be able to use active CSX rail systems. Now they have great communications and work with Amtrak in a lot of different places. Well these kind of more local commuter systems, a little bit harder for them to get going, especially one still as young as the Music City Star. But the Music City Star has been showing that it's getting more and more popular, so we'll keep an eye on that. 
Personally, I think it would be awesome if there was a train running to Gallatin and we put a station here in Hendersonville where I live at. I think that'd be fun going from Hendersonville to Nashville via the train. Now, the Star is the first passenger train service of any kind for Nashville since the discontinuation long ago of Amtrak's Floridian line back in 1979. So it's been a long, long time since Amtrak considered running a train here to Nashville. Now, as I mentioned, the Nashville and Eastern line is part of the old line of the former Tennessee Central Railway, and that line had not seen any kind of passenger service for many decades prior to the Music City Star, with the exception of the kind of more fun excursion trains that are operated by the Tennessee Central Railway Museum. I went over and checked out that museum before, and those guys have a really cool uh, system going on there. I wouldn't mind, honestly, volunteering to help them in the future. I might consider doing that next year. I almost did it this year, but I think next year uh, I might be willing to help out on that train. Now, they have a Honestly, a very, very beautiful lineup of train engines that they use. If you are a rail fan, uh, and I still have not had a chance to go and check out the Music City Star because they only run it Monday through Friday when I can't get out of the house because uh, I have a work from home job. I work Monday through Friday, and this train runs Monday through Friday usually, so I can't get out to go check it out. But if you're a rail fan and you can go see this train, go check it out because they run the old school F40 PHs. And they have the old style uh, Metra bi-level gallery cars that they use. I think they have been making some changes over the last few years, but these are some cool, cool old school diesel engines that they're using. If, you, if you're a rail fan and you want to go see one of the old style F40s that you know, Amtrak used to run long ago, this is a good chance to still see them out in the, you know, out in the wild, so to speak. Now this current line that they run on is actually 32 miles long. And again, it does have those seven different stations, but how does this relate back to the Music City Grand Prix? Well, they're gonna be using those seven stations as places where they can pick up and take you to the riverfront station, which will be right where you'll need to be to watch the racing in downtown Nashville. Now, that train is actually gonna come right under the Korean Veterans Bridge that the Music City Grand Prix will be competing on. But, so let's talk about when does this train leave? When can you actually hop on board to go to the races? Well, let's take a look over at the WeGo Public Transit site here by the folks from Nashville. And here we go. Ride the Star to the Music City Grand Prix, August 8, 2021. So this is only going to be for that Sunday. And again, this is a train that only runs Monday through Friday. So this is a very special occasion. They're only going to be running one train. So there's not going to be two. There's not going to be three like there usually is during the week. Only one train. You only got one chance to do it. I think there's a max of capacity of about 360 people maybe something like that. So they have some tickets, but obviously nowhere near to the amount of people that are gonna be coming to this race for sure. But here we go. Ride the WeGo Star Excursion Train to the Music City Grand Prix. The special August 8th Grand Prix Excursion Train is scheduled to depart as follows. Leaving the station in Lebanon, that's 334 West Bedour Parkway at 1 o'clock p.m. Central Time. It'll then be arriving at Hamilton Springs Station, 1000 Gaston Park Drive at 108 p.m. Then it'll be arriving at Marfa, 65 Marfa Circle at 115 p.m. Central Time. Then it'll be arriving in their Mount Juliet Station, 22 East Division Street, there in Mount Juliet, Tennessee at 1.25 p.m. Central Time. After that, it'll be arriving in Hermitage, 4121 Andrew Jackson Parkway in Hermitage, Tennessee at 1.35 p.m. Central Time. Then finally, the last station before they arrive, so this will be the last station where they're picking up people, taking them to the race, it'll be arriving in Donaldson, 2705 Lebanon Pike, 1.45 p.m. Central Time. Then finally, the train is scheduled to arrive at Riverfront Station, at 2 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Again, you're not going to be able to see much before the race starts with that kind of train schedule, but I can understand. The train is very limited on when they can and can't run that. And again, usually they wouldn't be able to run it at all. Now, here's the next part. After the race is over, the train is departing 45 minutes after the race is done. So if you are going to ride the train, you better be back to the riverfront station really quick because it's, it's leaving out. As soon as someone takes a checkered flag, 45 minutes 
Trains heading out. Now that's not that bad of a Uber ride if you if you did miss a train. So if nothing else, just to get there, it's a cool experience. But if you're gonna take it back, keep that in mind, 45 minutes after race ends, train's leaving. Here under site says no refunds, all sales are final, and they are requiring masks on board the Music City Star while it's heading in there. There has been an increase in COVID, you know, cases going up with the Delta variant and all that. But and also, it's actually more of a, um, uh, what's the word, FRA, Federal Railway Administration, something like that. It's a requirement from them. It's coming, you know, across higher boards than, than just Nashville, Tennessee. So it's a nationwide requirement by all trains, uh, commuter trains, that they need to be wearing masks right now. Kind of just like the airport. So just one of those things that's going to have to, you know, keep dealing with. But when you get to Nashville for the race, it's who knows what at this point. I'm confused on all of it right now myself. But man, if you are a race fan, if you are a train fan, this is a unique opportunity. If I wasn't competing in the probably the biggest fishing tournament of my life this weekend, I would probably want to go ride the train. And how much does a ticket cost? Well, that's an easy question to answer. Just $15. So you park your car there at the train station and your ticket will cost $15 to ride a Music City Star to the train. Now, I don't think you're gonna have to pay for parking when you get there to where the train is at. So honestly, depending on where you could find parking in Nashville on race day, you know, you might be saving money. A lot of places in Nashville on this big race day, knowing all the people are coming in, they're probably gonna be charging a lot more than usual for parking. So uh, taking a train is an affordable and fun option, especially if you have young kids who wanna go to the IndyCar race. Don't shy away from checking out the Music City Star to go to the Music City Grand Prix. Anyways, I hope you guys have fun. If you are going to the Music City Grand Prix, sorry I can't make it this time. Uh, hey, I will be going to Indianapolis Motor Speedway 40 NASCAR Cup Series race here in a few weeks. I'm looking forward to that, and I hope to see some of you guys there. And you know what? I might not be getting to see my first IndyCar race this weekend, but maybe it's for better. I think I might want my first IndyCar race to be next year's Indianapolis 500. And if they have the Music City Grand Prix next year and it's not in a scheduling conflict with my state championship again next year, I might come to check out the Music City Grand Prix if they have it again. You know, maybe it's a one-time thing. Maybe I'll regret it, but I don't know. I don't want to miss out on this fishing tournament, though. So I'm going to go do that. And I hope you guys enjoy the IndyCar race this weekend here in Nashville. And hope you guys have a great day. Bye, guys. Hey race fans, thanks for watching this video from Danny B Talks. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another video from my channel.